everyone. I'm New York State Assembly member Linda B. Rosenthal, and I'm delighted to be a part of the Irish Arts Center's Book Day celebration again this year. Now, while we normally pass out free books all across New York City, this year we're instead reading excerpts from some of our most beloved pieces by Irish writers. The IAC is donating books to some organizations in our community as well, including the New York Irish Center, the Emerald Isle Immigration Center, Aisling Community Center, and the Irish Consulate Senior Outreach Program. So today here at the Eleanor Roosevelt statue in my assembly district on Riverside Drive on the Upper West Side, I will be sharing a few lines from How Many Letters Are In Goodbye by Yvonne Cass. There's only one sign hidden behind an overgrown hedge, but he doesn't seem to need signs. He knows exactly when to slow the car down, when to turn through the gap in the fence where there's a man in a wooden hut collecting the money. Dad pays him in coins, and we drive across a bumpy field toward a low white building, and beyond that building is a strip of grass and then the sea, navy blue like my uniform, and a million white caps of wave. A sudden gust of wind yanks the door back when Dad opens it. Jesus, it's freezing, Dad shouts at me across the roof. Did you bring a coat? The wind is whipping up my skirt, and I wish he'd told me we were coming, so I wasn't wearing my stupid school uniform, so I could have taken the hoodie that Aunt Ruth sent over at Christmas. No. Here, let's have a look in the boot, see what's there. I know there won't be anything of mine in the boot, and there isn't. All there is is Dad's old brown quilted jacket that he used to wear when we went for walks. Here, put this on. It's miles too long. Put it on. I don't want you getting pneumonia. Not on your birthday. He holds it out and I put my arm in first, then my stump. Even on my arm, the sleeve hangs seven miles long. The jack jacket itself is nearly as long as my skirt. I'm not wearing this. It's not a fashion parade, Rhea. I look stupid. You could never look stupid. You're much too lovely looking. Don't you know you're getting to be the spit of your mother? He's never said that before, anything like that. And I can't see his face because he's looking down, rolling the sleeve up over my stump. And after that, he walks a bit ahead of me over to the dirt patch where there's only a tiny fence between us and the cliff edge with the sea crashing against the rocks below. He stops, looks out at the sea. It'd take your breath away, wouldn't it? Yeah, I go, it's gorgeous. It's a view, but it's more than that. The wind, the salt in the air, the colors of the sky, it's a view but it's a feeling too. Thank you everyone for listening and joining in. I hope you have a safe and healthy St. Patrick's Day, no matter where you'll be. We can't wait to be out here in person again next year, and we hope to see you then.